Bit of a Hello, this is Anke for Golden Camera. Mm. I have Don't the have pleasure to speak today to Michael Fassbender and Rebecca Ferguson. Well, maybe we should do Rebecca Ferguson and Michael Fassbender. Gender equality, first. well Gender done. Equality, yeah. Well, 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 the snowman, you, uh, what a movie. I jumped in my seat. Thank you very much. Okay, great. Good. So do you think um, this movie is going to be for snowmen what it was for clowns or Jaws for sharks? I hope so. <laughs> yeah, with any luck. Hopefully, episodically, for a little, a little yeah. while, people will be With any luck, scared. we've destroyed children's... Uh, That's um, our motive. ...snowman building activity. <laughs> Although children aren't going to see this, are they? Because it's... Um, what is it? It's an 18, I think. Uh, I think it's 18. Fif 15? No, it's R-rated. It's 18. Yeah, right. Should be 18, anyway. Um, but yeah, I think they did a really good job of making snowmen look sinister. And that's t down to Thomas and the, and the production team. Uh, because, um, yeah, those little stick arms and the noseless face and the dark eyes. It's very it's naive. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty frightening. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking of children and their relationship to snowmen, do you remember, do you recall your last time you built a snowman and these magical childhood memories? It was in Norway when we were shooting this. I was going to say, did we not yeah. do it whilst filming? Yeah, that's and right. We had snow fights. Snowball and fights, yeah. 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 We didn't have much snow in Ireland, so when it happened, it was like, you know, a national holiday. You know, you didn't have to go to school. Did you do the snow angel? Yeah, I was never really that big into snow angels. Again, that no. came in later years. You do it naked. You jump into the sauna, okay. and then you oh, yes. jump into the snow, and then you do snow angels, and you just pretend like you're really cool, but it is freezing. Yeah, yeah. Apparently mm -hmm. very good for your skin. Very good for your... Um, yeah, in um, your blood circulation. circulation. Mm -hmm. Snap. But you were shooting this movie in Norway, so what I was going at, these Scandinavians are really on a roll in Hollywood right now. Why mm -hmm. do you think that is, and what makes the Scandinavians, as a group, so cool? Because we just are cool. Mm. I think they're just a coolness. Also over. masters of pop. Who can explain it? Yeah. You know, from ABBA to <laughs> Max Martin today. Well That's, done. Yeah. Thank you. Well done. And hard rock. I, do you know what I think? I, I don't know if rock. it is. I'm not sure I agree. <laughs> no, rock but sets heavy metal off. we're yeah. very good at. But we don't know any, like no, internationally, I know, I can't say you know, any people bands, don't but really we are. know Swedish heavy metal. The heavy metal bands are looking at this going. Yeah, they might be angry with me. To answer your question, um, I wonder if it's, I want to say that because prior we've had lots of actors out there, but a Girl with a Dragon Tattoo, I think, was episodically one that opened the doors and then lots of incredible actors sort of just went out into the world. And I think it becomes an episodical interest for an area which can change equally as quickly. It's like France with Amélie de Montmartre became yet another blow up of French yeah. film. Plus you have it in your, um, in your history, uh, you know, yeah, uh, with Bergman cinema, with and Bergman, and, 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 and you can really feel that, and theatre as well. Mm, <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you.